testimony of Jesus, which is the spirit of prophecy. And they go to all the world. Yeah, That is the remnant and his mission. Remnant is when there are many people, and then there are few people following. The other people don't care anymore. They are just uh, doing worldly things. But the remnant, <coughs> we are supposed to be the remnant in Revelation 14, who are spreading the gospel, the good news, judgment, come out of her, your, uh, come out of her, my people. Yeah. That is the Yung mga hudyo kasi, they are fasting, they are studying the Bible, and they are, what else does the Jews do? Fasting, study Bible, and uh, go to church. But they forgot to do missionary work. And then when Jesus was doing missionary work, they are in, they are jealous because he has more <laughs> followers, di ba? So we should not be content. Not study yung remnant church who has the doctrines, but we should actually do mission because mission is God's command. That is why we are united. Even if I don't know you and you don't know me, and we are from different economical levels and different geographical. Uh, locations, we are all united because Jesus Christ is our boss. Amen? And we are all parts of the body. So, God gave us interest and talents and money and different influences so that we can do God's work. Man, unity of the body of Christ. Yan baptism we already discussed. Why? Because Jesus did it. Jesus came out of the water, so we also come out of the water. Immersion. Yeah? It is according to the Bible. Lord's Supper. <clears throat> Why do we do it? Because Jesus Christ did it. So we wash each other's feet, repentance, and compassion, uh, con, uh, confession. Spiritual gifts and ministries. Some people have self-sacrificing service. Charity, you know what? In Sabbath, it's boring. So I come early. <laughs> I set up uh, in PIC. I set up in Academy. And then <laughs> I go back to PIC <laughs> to teach. And then I go back to Academy to check the, if they are doing Okay? So we have many interests. And God gives us assignment. When we don't know what to do, you just ask God for an assignment. Yeah? According to the scriptures, there is faith, healing, Prophecy, oh, all of us should be prophet because we are Adventists. Our name says that Jesus is coming soon, yeah? Seventh-day Adventists, the name itself has prophetic, is prophetic that we are, Jesus is coming soon. Proclamation, teaching, administration, reconciliation, compassion, yeah, and all of those things are mentioned in the Bible. And the gift of prophecy... <coughs> I'm saying that everybody should be prophet. Where is that based? On 1 Corinthians 14. It says, okay, let's read. Tingnan natin kung ma-open. Ma-open yung internet na. Thank you. It says in 1 Corinthians 14, uh, follow the way of love and eagerly desire spiritual gifts. Especially prophecy. Huh? Pinakamataas pala. Okay, you do anything what you want, you want. But, especially prophecy. And if you go to the last verse, it will also say that uh, be eager to prophesy. In other versions, covet to prophesy. So if you see somebody preaching nicely, <laughs> we have the license to covet. Nasasabi kasi sa King James, covet to prophesy. So if you want to preach, it is, the Bible says, it is actually there. You are eager to prophesy. What are we going to prophesy, my friends? Things that are only according. Because according to the Old Testament, a prophet who prophesies word that is not from God, the, the punishment is, guess what? Death. Yeah, death. So we should only prophesy what is according to God's word, and we should prophesy eagerly what is according to God's word. Yeah. Okay, of course there is small prophet and big prophet, even in the Bible, right? The, right? If you read the books, there's minor prophet, there is prophet like Isaiah, you read and read and read and read and then it's not yet finished. <laughs> but Ellen White 
is a very, very big prophet. Bible is like this, and then White Writings is like this. Yeah? So, we have gift of prophecy. <clears throat> okay. And then the law of God, he memorized the Ten Commandments, and Jesus expounded on them. He said, it is written, thou shalt not commit adultery, but I say unto you, he who looks upon a woman with lust, commits adultery with her in her heart. Question. Sino ang commit adultery? Is it the man or the woman? Who commit adultery? The one who looked or the one who was uh, observed? The man? Yeah. The... How about the one who was observed? <laughs> but you know what Jesus said? With her. Can you commit adultery alone? Oh, the law. With. Because it's with, right? With. When you say with. Oh. So how do we avoid committing adultery? I have a tip to you. I have a tip to you. Ayan. <laughs> to avoid committing adultery, my friends. Ellen White saw three groups of women. <laughs> I, I'm not criticizing uh, you, don't worry. This is a chance to go to Lasaga and click add to cart. When you know what to do, you add to cart what you're supposed to add to cart, okay? But this is our guide, what to add. Don't worry about your past mistakes because we did not know. Diba? God wings on our mistakes because we did not know. Nobody came to preach about this before. I don't know, maybe we did not uh, find it. But now that you know, let's read. Ellen White had three uh, vision, three companies of women. The first group of women, their dress is sweeping the floor. <laughs> so Ellen White says, this is not good because it is not uh, clean. It gets on the leaves. <laughs> so the second group of women, the characteristic is the skirt doesn't reach the knee. And he, she said, I'm just summarizing the references there. No need to debate. It's not, it's too short, yeah? So, the third, ano, ano ba talaga yung dapat na haba ng dami? Yung inches from the floor. Okay, let us read. Uh, sabi dito, kasi maraming opinion. Marami kasing opinion. Diba? Dapat quotation. So that we have, uh, rela, ano tawag yan, quality of reference. Because I can have opinion, other people can have opinion. Because who cares about our opinions? The bottom of the dress should reach the near top of the lady's boot. Okay. So that is the, this is the most easiest to understand uh, paragraph I saw. Okay. So, so, yung iba, <laughs> yun sir, you know what, the Holy Spirit helped me uh, resolve that. Because when I look, Ellen White actually said, uh, Gator's boot. When I look at Gator's boot, some of them are really until here. But I put Gator's boot 1800s. Ah, hanggang dito lang siya. So, ilalagay mo pala sa Google, Gator's boot 800. Kasi magkukontra-kontra na kasi, di ba? Anyway, that's also a question. Okay, now we have, so, don't worry about, uh, do not think about, ano, do your usual mistake, don't decide. It is a chance to order. Di ba gusto niyo mag-shopping? Uh, di ba, do you like to have new clothes? Oh, di ba? No, no, don't worry about your old clothes. It is chance to buy new clothes, yeah? Okay, be positive. We should, you go to Ukay, uh, to ano? Ukay, Ukay. Ukay, Ukay. And, dun sa may, ano, sa may balibago dun sa taas na, ano yung mall dun? Target. Yung isa, hindi yung nandun sa likod. Yo, victory mo dito sa taas yung mga Korean. Marami dun. Ako nakita na, ano, ha, papasa dito. <laughs> so, after sunset, because you have, uh, ano, SOP uh, evidence, uh, motivation from the spirit of prophecy to go shopping. Oh, di ba? Di ba? Uh, masaya yun. You just think of positive. <laughs> positive, ano. Take it positively to go shopping. Next, sana yung ating, ano, so, <laughs> Jesus further said, He who, it is written, Thou shalt not kill, but he who says bad things to his neighbor is danger of judgment. Yeah? And, 
It also is written, thou shalt not steal. That's why we try to use only pirate, uh, not pirated software, di ba? not pirated PDF, not pirated, ano pa mga pinapirate ng mga tao? Movie, ah, movie, yung movie, mabah, masama talaga 99%. <laughs> Even if you don't pirate it, 99.99% .99 is bad. Because they do not pass Philippians 4.8, whatsoever is true, o oh, hindi naman true. Whatsoever is lovely, eh, away, away, agawa ng asaba, what is, whatever is of good report, of oh, bad news naman yun. So, you should, those things we allow to come into our mind. Because whatever we watch is saved in our mind, di ba? Kaya lang pag nag-quiz si ma'am, hindi na natin maalala. <laughs> but after the test, oo nga no, naalala ko na. Ibig sabihin, nandun yun. Hindi lang ma-access. <laughs> Therefore, lahat ng napapanood, everything that we watch, actually is saved and it influences us. That's why Philippians 4.8 tells us that we should not watch boxing. Ay, sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> we should watch only things that are pure, of good report, Yan. Sabbath. Oh, this is the favorite of Saint the Adventists. It is in our name. But many of us don't know how to keep the Sabbath down. Do you know that the Sabbath commandment came even before the Ten Commandments were given? Guess what? It is in Exodus 16. And you know what the Ellen White says? Sabbath will become the most, the number one test. And Ellen further says, Ellen White further says that food it's one of the most difficult to overcome, right? Diba? When I discuss vegetarianism, all of you will leave. <laughs> Everybody just turned their back away. Even Ellen White had difficulty. It took her 30 years from receiving the health message to, be, to fully declare that she was a vegetarian na talaga. Diba? 30 years, propeta na yun. So if you overtake her, <laughs> because you don't need to wait for other people of your family to die. So let us, uh, okay, Sabbath, balik tayo sa Sabbath. Saka na yung, ano, mas, mahi, mas mahalaga ang Sabbath kaysa vegetarianism, okay? <laughs> okay, because, uh, itang mahirap, dito ako nahihirapan. Because uh, I'm afraid, <laughs> I'm afraid of telling the truth. But this is the truth. It is very powerful. Okay. Do you know, <laughs> this is the most difficult, my friends. But I will just tell, even if you stone me later. <laughs> Uh, alin ang gusto niyo? Which one do you want? Example or uh, truth about avoiding cooking on Sabbath? Because the truth is very difficult. It's very, really like stone that hits your head. But there are, I have collected many examples. So which one do you want? First, I will tell you both. Which one do you want first? Truth. The quotation or the examples? The quotation. Okay. The quotations. <laughs> I grew up in an Adventist church. I grew up in an Adventist school. I know all the excuses. <laughs> I grew up, I was born in PUC. I grew up in Nagaview. I worked in AUP. I know all the excuses we have, right? But I looked for all of them in official writings. I could not find any official statement that re consumes, that has the, I saw single theologians write, but the voted statements, I could not find anything that says Sabbath cooking is okay. Therefore, I had to change my position. <laughs> Kasi ako dati yung kadibate ng mga nagsisabi nito, kaya lang, talo tayo ng katotohanan eh. <laughs> We are overcome by the writings. It says in the Bible, Exodus 16.23, of course, we know that, tomorrow is the rest day, Holy Sabbath, bake, that which you bake, and seed, seed is a uh, Boy, sabi naman ng iba, ha, we will just fry. <laughs> and that which remained over will lay up to be kept into the, in the morning. And when Moses, Moses, I think he did not announce. <laughs> I think Pastor Moses is uh, shy of his congregation. And then the Lord get angry on Moses. God, how long will you refuse? Whose commandments is this? Moses' uh, commandment, God's commandment, or the Pharisees' commandment? Wala pang Pharisee nun. Nandun pa sila sa ano. So, God says, how long will you first to keep my commandments? It is God's command. It's not even Moses. Actually, Moses was being scolded for not telling the Israelites. How will you keep my command? This is Exodus 16. 
And the uh, Ten Commandments is Exodus 20. How about spirit of prophecy? Those who neglect to prepare for the Sabbath and six days who cook food upon the Sabbath violate the fourth commandment and are transgressors of God's law. Okay. Ay, hindi naman natin alam because they didn't tell us, tell us before. But the solution is to educate, yeah? To educate. Even if you will stone me later, I will tell the truth. <laughs> because this is not going to change. How about in, ano, sabi dito, let the Sabbath is not to be given or to the cooking of food or, okay, those things, or ironing. In uh, cooking on the Sabbath should be avoided, but it's not there for tea necessary. Oh, how about this one? It is not necessary to eat cold food. This is the nearest, almost, but it is not true. In cold weather, the food prepared should be heated. Diba, diba, diba? Do you read it? But I, I skipped something. The food on cold weather, the food should be heated. What word did I skip? The day before. The day before. <laughs> Ito yung binin-skip ng mga iba. They don't read this. Why do we need to, ano, hindi pala ang papainit mo yung niluto mo lang. Ay, pwede mag-init dahil niluto kahapon. Ba't mo ba iinit pag bago luto naman, di ba? Kasi they are using this, oh, pwede mag-init, therefore pwede magluto. Ha? Basahin niyo yung segment. It cook, you heat the cook the day, uh, cook the day before. Kahapon ba? But they don't read the day before. They only read the heating. So, we have to go to the quotation. Yeah? What is the difference between heating and cooking? <coughs> you ask the rice cooker. You ask the rice cooker. Then. Oh, so pag sabado, you cannot press it. Because, very simple. It is written, do not cook. But, your, your microwave also has? Okay. You know, life is very simple. Just obey. So, <clears throat> so, pwede mag-heat. Seriously, the difference between cooking and heating, the other one is prohibited, the other one is allowed. That prohibition is everything. God's word, when it says pwede, when it says hindi pwede, that will cost us our life. Yeah? Okay, how about official voted church documents? The buying interpretation of food, the ready of clothes. They are just repeating what Ellen White says. <coughs> Adventist official statements. Okay, how about Adventist biblical research? Same document is there. How about GC archives? Same document is there in typewritten form. It's there since the 1990s. How about in the yellow book, Adventist belief? You know the Adventist uh, uh, the beliefs book? The yellow one, the old one, the blue one, the new one, and the blue and red and orange one. It's all there. It says that those who make the family's meal should be, should prepare so that... How about in Tagalog? <clears throat> Akala ko, nakalimutan, I thought that the Filipino missionaries forgot to teach us because we don't know about this, right? But I, I went to Magallanes, I went into the church late, and one woman was reading this. Sabi niya, Dapat tingnan ng ina na ang pagkain ay handa na. Sabi ko, saan yung nabasa? Ba't Tagalog? Anong? So, I, after the Sabbath school, I looked at a bit. It is published by NPUM in 1968. <laughs> so, the Filipinos, we forgot. This is actually official teaching of the church. Even in Tagalog, of course, in English. But we are publishing this. But we forgot about it. Kaya pala, the fourth commandment starts with, Remember. God knows Filipinos will forget <laughs> this thing. Okay, even if you look, it is, I took a picture of it. This is the receipt, yeah? 19, 1868. How about the CMC Bible? What does it say at the back? It says that, of course, it's just quoting Exodus 16:23. Anong tagubilin ang ibinigay ng Diyos kaugnay ng kanilang pagkain sa araw ng Sabah? Yun. Kanya, sinabi sa kanya, ito ang inutos ng Pernon. Of course, it's just sitting and... Uh, the same thing, Exodus 16, 23. According to the Bible that we are giving to newly baptized people. How about amazing facts? They yeah, just quote, quote, quoting. Sabbath is not given. Okay, then just quote, quoting. Okay. Next. This is the most big. Oh, I was telling you, I'm going to give you tips. So, the, the truth is, 
officially, we're not supposed to cook. The question is, how to educate people? The solution is education, yeah? Everybody wants to obey. We assume. How to not uh, spoil the food? <laughs> how to let the food survive? I was there in 2014 in Ayas. And the UNCLUB president at the time was, he has a PhD in theology from Ayas. He is bragging that in his school, all of the viand is already cooked on before Friday, Sunday. Sabi ko, alam pa ng Indonesians. How come we Filipinos don't know? And then somebody from Thailand, an African woman missionary, what is wrong with you Asians? What is wrong with your rice? Why can't you cook it before? How come the African knows? And he works in, she works in Thailand. I think only Filipinos forgot. And then in another forum, the SSD Ministerial Association Secretary just quoted, quoted with the official writings that the food preparation should be done before the Sabbath. And then my teacher in Nagaview. Now all of these things happening are, I'm wondering, how come I'm hearing so many things like this? So I just wrote them down because I observed that God is restoring the truth to the church because this we should have remember these things. And I found out many people know how to do this. They are just hiding because we might persecute them if they, we say, they say that they are not cooking on Sabbath because they are feeling guilty. <laughs> we want to persecute them like how we did before. <laughs> like how I did before. I had a friend who was telling this, and then I tried to debate him. But I need official statement. I could not find it. So I had, ako yung nag-change, I had to change my position to align. The Bible, spirit of prophecy, official church voted statements, all align that we should not cook on Sabbath. There is one verse in the Bible that looks like we are allowed. Sabi dun, on, this, on the seventh day, no one should do any work except that which is for food. But you know what? Seventh day, it is the seventh day of the Feast of Unleavened Bread. And the Feast of Unleavened Bread doesn't always start on Sunday. If you look at the Jewish calendar. So that is uh, uh, not a uh, contextual quotation. Okay, so there are many people, sabi nila, if we have big refrigerator, we can do it. Sabi sa ibang, ano, we just eat fruits, bread, granolas. Sabi sa ibang, we use uh, the, but actually it's very easy. Just put in the ref. Eh? Put in the ref. Since we can hit on Sabbath, press hit. Make sure you only press hit. Yeah, very easy actually. It's easier now than in the desert. Yeah, of course there are more germs now <laughs> than in the time before. Sabi ng iba yung hindi pa na panisan na kawali ano kaldero. Yeah, sabi ng iba fasting. I tried that one fasting. I tried experiment because some of the theology friends I had, I said, why are you not eating? No, we are not eating the recipe of fasting. Oh, I went to try also. So I went, I tried fasting for one semester, every Sabbath only. You know what happened? I'm not a preacher like a pastor and pastor here. But some, so I had so many preaching appointments, I got tired of my sermon. <laughs> because anywhere I go, I'm hiding now. This church, and then they see you are wearing barong, you are the one preaching. So, and then, crusade, I'm not a theologian and pastor, but I said, I want to help you. And then God put me in three, I know, evangelistic series. I'm the preacher. So, and all the ministries I'm helping, they exploded like so big. So I don't know what's happening, but I'm, nothing changed in me. But when I fast, I think God put me in very, very nice, uh, miraculous ministries. So what I did, I stopped fasting. <laughs> because I got tired of preaching. It's, uh, Boring to preach the same sermon 50 or times already. <laughs> You're tired. You know what happened? My church planting stopped. My evangelist, evangelism speaker stopped. And also the speaking appointments, they all stopped. Once I said, So anyway, Jesus stopped uh, fasting also after 40 days. Yeah? You cannot fast your whole life. You don't have to. <clears throat> but it works. What Moses did, what Elijah did, what Jesus did, he experiment, masakit lang sa sa ulo. So, some people say fresh fruits, veggies, and so on and so forth. This is the most difficult truth, but whenever I talk, tell people about it, even in Ukraine, you know why, why Ukraine is being attacked? The Adventists there 
all don't cook on Sabbath. That's why, you know, this war, Satan is angry with the Ukrainian Adventists. Some student from Ukraine said she was so shocked when he reached, she reached Philippines. Everybody cooks on Sabbath. Then, before they got baptized, they were taught, you cook, you put in the ref, yeah? And then when you know how to do it, we baptize you. <laughs> Say Ukraine. But us here, we forgot. But our Lolo, oh, Mam Kina de Castro said, their Lolo and their Lola, they know how to do it. Okay. So, okay, there are so many in Ukraine, so I don't believe, of course. I said, please get, get picture from cafeteria in Ukraine. Because, bagay nang gawin sa bahay. Ang tanong, paano gawin sa school? We don't want to criticize people. They don't know what to do. They don't know. You want example. So please take picture of the cafeteria, Adventist University cafeteria in Ukraine. What do they do in the cafeteria? Yeah, picture. Puro tinapay. <laughs> Same tinapay, ilang araw pa yung bago ma? Yeah, I think you just need to make up your mind. Yan. Oy, by the way, sabi ni Ellen White, those who cause others to do are as guilty as if you have done it yourself. Oh, ho. Naluto. Naluto sa iba. Naluto sa iba. Parang ikaw rin yung nagluto. Noon. O morder, kinuha sa luto. Ay, morder. Dalawa ang kasalanan. Nagpaluto at saka nag-order. But, seriously, what is the solution? 